Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Miss Lori. And I'm Kaden. You know, um, hmm. And welcome back to Life Kids Online. <laughs> oh, yes. Welcome back to Life Kids Online. We are halfway through our series of blueprints, and I'm so excited to keep talking to you about God's big plan for all of us. Kaden, you're not looking so good. <sighs> uh, maybe can we switch? Um, I want to play with the Legos now. Sure, Thank we can you. trade. All right, yeah. thank you. Here, if yeah. you want a new one. I'm gonna get a maybe a fresh one over here. I spit all over that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that one's a thank little. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't understand why we need to blow up some balloons anyway. You'll see very soon. Do you know our Bible story for today? Oh yeah, it's a, uh, I mean, kind of like this Lego we got going on here, you know? We've been seeing bit by bit, we've been seeing God's incredible plan unfold. Can, shh, I'm trying to talk here. Although that plan probably looks a lot better than my little Lego house. Jesus came to earth as a baby, we celebrated that in Christmas, mm -hmm. and he could have lived any way he wanted to while he was on earth, but he didn't do that. He instead gave up on everything to be our savior and obeyed God till the very end. And that's what we celebrate next month on Easter. Well done. But Easter isn't for a little while. Right now, we get to see the plans all come together. Piece, piece by piece. piece. Yes, Caden, just like your Legos. Okay, but I am confused by just one part. I don't know if I have the answer, but let's hear it. Yeah, so why do you think Jesus was so dedicated to this difficult plan? The plan was super, super rough. It meant that he would have to feel so much pain and eventually he would have to die for us. That's gnarly. Yeah. Furthermore, he had to follow God's plan instead of his own. So personally, I don't like following other people's plans. I like to just build, you know, do my plans the way I want, you know? Okay, well, let's try this. Do you trust me? Of course, I always do. Yeah, still trust you. Oh. Whoa. You didn't even jump. No, well, you know, I, I knew I wasn't gonna get hurt. Besides, it's a balloon. Balloons can't hurt you. <laughs> well, that's true, but all right, then. Do you trust me? Whoa, that looks really heavy. What is that? Water? Well, whatever. Yeah. Hey. Not even scared. Didn't pop. Nope. That was pretty impressive. I knew At this point, there isn't really anything I can scare you with, huh? And I knew I would be fine. That's because, Caden, you knew that no matter how wacky this experiment got, I wouldn't let you get hurt. Yeah, there's a, there's a very cool word for that that we kept saying, trust. Also, a cool Bible verse is Jeremiah 29, 13. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, that's our, that's our month's Bible verse. Yeah. We're practicing yeah. that one, like yep. from memory. Hey, so if you kids know it too, why don't you guys all say it with us? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, mm -hmm. plans to give you a hope and a future. See, I love that verse. It's so nice to be in someone else's blueprint and know that there's a good ending. Now we have a quick question for you kids. Go ahead and take time to talk to your family about this one. How do you know that Jesus loves you and the people you care about? Mm, good prompt, yeah. So pause the video if you need to. We'll be, uh, we'll be right here. Look at that. Yeah. It really won't pop. It's 
pretty magical, isn't it? I, I don't even know the science behind this one. Yeah, well, let's get back to our lesson. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah that you're, you're talking about an important question. Yes, yes, exactly. So how do we know that Jesus loves us and the people we care about? Well, there's John 59. That's a great Bible verse. I yeah. have that actually pulled up. It's where uh, Jesus tells everyone, mm -hmm. including me and you, Yeah. as much as the Father has loved me, so do I love you. Yeah. See, it's right there in Scripture. Jesus is telling everyone, he's like, I love you so much, the same way that God is loving him, right? Right. And he's able to, to uh, love us because he said yes to God's plan. Yeah. Imagine if Jesus decided to just do whatever he wanted. Oh, well, that would be really scary because, you know, in John 3, 16, mm -hmm. for God so loved the world, oh, that what did that. he do? He gave his only son. Uh-huh that whoever believes in him shall have eternal life. That's beautiful. Yeah. See, Jesus chose the hard path. He chose to follow that mm -hmm. blueprint that even though his plan was super scary, yeah, he knew that it would show love to us more than anything else. And man, that kind of encourages me. I want to follow that plan. Even though it's not my plan, you know, I always want to do what I want to do. Yeah, but in the end, God's plan is always way better than what we think our plan is. Very true. Yeah. So on that note, why don't we all get up and sing some worship songs? That's a fantastic idea. Yeah. You know Lift what to do. Lift up some praises. So get up on those feet and here we go. I love worship time. Oh, yeah, man. that was awesome. All right, well, we'll see you all next week then, okay? By the way, please don't play with fire, even like this, unless you have parents' permission. Uh, it really doesn't want work at all. Woo! Well, that'll get our week going. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you kids have a great week. See you next time. See you next time.